x class this class is for class 7 in continuation with the previous class now today we will be discussing about finding the square root by division method or long division method whatever it is means sometimes we say find the square root by division method and sometimes it is written in the books in some books it is written find the square root by long division method so I am starting directly with the exercise with the help of the question I will be explaining you the process or how to find out the method 5 we have taken second question 4, 7, 5, 1 first of all what we do 4, 7, 6, 1 sorry 4, 7, 6, 1 we have to find the square root of 4, 7, 6, 1 what we do we move from right to left and while moving from right to left right to left we keep on making pairs of two the numbers means this is one pair 61 47 and so on so now what we are going to do 4 7 6 1 we will consider the numbers in pairs why we had made pairs because we will consider this as one pair this as one pair and so on so first pair is 47 we need to find a number which when multiplied to itself is equal to 47 or less than 47 as in division we do so 6 into 6 is 36 7 into 7 is 39 so we will go by 6 6 6 36 now what is left what is left is 11 now when we generally the division we carry down the next digit but in this case we carry down the pair means that is 61 completely will go down in normal division what we do we carry we would have been carrying on down 6 only but here we have to bring the whole pair down so here it is 61 so we are bringing out the 60 now this 6 is this 6 is added to this 6 this 6 that is the question is added to the 6 and we get 12 now we need to find a number over here which when multiplied to itself means this number and this number when multiplied to 1, 2 and something uh, 1, 2 and something into that something should be either 1, 1, 6, 1 or less than this or less than this how we will find out it is 1 over here last if we know that 1 into 1 is 1 or 9 into 9 9 into 9 is 81 means the unit digit is 1 so we can check with 1 2 here we can place 1 into 1 uh, or we can use 1 2 9 into 9 what I said this number and this number should be same so here it is 1 so we can try by 1 but that is not possible you can see it will be 121 and here it is 1161 so that is not considered that will not be considered let's check with 9 put over 9 over here and 9 over here so 9 9 is a 81 8 9 2 is a 18 18 and 8 is 26 so 2 carry 9 1 is a 9 and 2 11 you are getting 1161 it means this this value is correct so we already have 1 and 2 what number we should place over here I think it should be 9 if here it is 9 here also it should be 9 so 1 1 6 1 nothing is remainder so we got we were, we were supposed to find the square root of 4 7 6 1 so you can write under root 4 7 6 1 is equal to 69 that is the final value now we will take question number 4 and again I try to explain it to you so that whatever is left, whatever you have not understood may be clear. Question number 4 is find the square root of 9409 by division method. It means we have to find, we will put a root sign, 
under root of 9409 is equal to question mark. We will try to find out. First thing, we will move from right to left. We are moving from right to left. And in moving, we are making pairs. So this is 09 is one pair and 94 is one pair. Now what we will do, we will make this sign. Now first pair is 94. I need a number which when multiplied to itself gives 94 or less than 94. So we know that 9 into 9 is 81 and 10 into 10 is 100. So I think this is not going to be used. 10. We cannot use this. So 9. 9 into 9. So 9 9 is a 81. What is left? 4 minus 1 is 3. 9 minus 8 is 1. This 9 is again added over here. Means this 9 is added to this 9 and we will get 18. 18 and something else is required over here. That should come over here also. We will carry down what? 0, 9. Now we know 3 into 3 is 9. So it can be 183. Or we also know that 7 into 7 is 49. 7 into 7 is 49 means the uh, units digit is 9. So we can say even 187 means 187 into 7 will be there or 183 into 3 will be there. Let's check 3 3 is a 9, 8 6 3 is a sorry 8 3 is a 24, 2 3 and 2 5. 7 7 is a 49, 4. 7, 8 is a 56 and 4, 60, 0, 6, 7 and 6, 13, 1, 3, 0, 9. I hope you can easily make out which number should come over here. Which number should come over here? It should be 7. 7 and 7, you will get 1, 3, 0, 9. Nothing is left in the remainder. So the final value is 97. So we can say that. Under root 9409 is equal to 97. That is the final value. Now we move on to the sixth part. Question number six. We have to find the root of 4624 by division method or long division method. Again, we will make the pairs of two from right to left. First pair is 46. Second is 24. We know that 6 into 6 is 36 and 7 into 7 is 49. So I think we can use 6. 6, 6 is 36. What is left? 10 is remainder. We will carry down this whole 24. So 1, 0, 2, 4. 6 will be added to this 6. It will be 12. Now we have to find a number which should come in both these places to get 4. So it is possible, we know that 8 into 8 is 64. So it can be 128 into 8. Or we also know that 2 into 2 is 4. So it can be 122 into 2. Means this number we have to find. What should come at this place? Which number should come at this place? Same number has to come at this place also. So if we check it by 2, so it will be 244. So here it is 1, 0, 2, 4. Let's check by 8. 8, 8 is 64. 6, 8, 2 is 16. And 6, 22. 2 carry 8 and 2, 10. I hope you can make out which number should come over here. Simply 8. So it is 8. 68. When uh, 8 multiplied to 128 will be 1, 0, 2, 4. Now nothing is left. So we know that under root of 4, 6, 2, 4 is equal to 68. Now, whenever it comes or whenever you are solving a question by division method, this process has to be shown. This is very important. This process has to be shown in fair. Means you are not going to make a rough column and write here rough work and solve it like that. This has to be in the main uh, fair, fair work. These things can come in the rough work. This is rough. These things can come in the rough column over here, but this has to be there in the fair part. Now we move on to question number 8. Next question I am taking question number 8 of 5b. And the question is find the square root of 
15625 by long division method or simply by division method so again 15625 we'll move from right to left making pairs this is right this is left first pair is 25 second pair is 56 now only one is left so first we will deal with one and then continue as we have been doing means what we are going to do this is the division sign first we will deal with one so we know that 1 into 1 is equal to 1 we need a number which when multiplied by itself gives 1 so that is 1 so 1 into 1 that is 1 nothing is left now 1 is added to this one we will get 2 we carry down what 56 we will carry down 56 now here which number should come so that it is less than 56 or equal to 56 so 2 into something 2 uh, something that should give 56 if we check by 3 3 into 3 is 9 and 3 to the 6 69 exceeds 56 so we will check by 2 so 2 to the 4 and 2 to the 4 we can use 2 in this place so what we are doing using 2 and 2 over here so it will be 2 to the 4 and 2 to the 4 now what is left 6 minus 4 is 2 5 minus 4 is 1 again we will copy down the whole next pair that is 25 now what we'll do we will again this 2 will be added this 2 will be added to this 2 again the same procedure is repeated so this 2 is added to this 2 we will get 24 and here i need a number which when multiplied by the same number gives 1 2 2 5 2, or less than 1 2 2 5 so we know that 5 into 5 is 25 it means our first hope is with 5 if i write 2 4 5 into 5 in this place and this place we are using 5 5 into 5 is 25 2 20 and 2 2 5 to the 10 and 2 12 i hope we are getting the right value so 5 will come over here as well as 5 will come over here and you will get 1 2 2 5 nothing is left so we can say that under root 15625 is equal to 125 this is the final answer now we move on to question number 10 if any doubt you can comment or just practice these questions will be in your fair notebook whereas the leftover means 1 3 5 7 and 9 will be in your practice notebook but still if you face problem in any of the questions you can just send me your problem over here question is question number 10 that is find the root by division method of 5 5 6 9 so i have put a root sign and a question mark over here what is the value we'll find so again 5 5 6 9 we we'll move from right to left and we will make pairs first pair second pair 5 is left alone so we will start with 5 we need a number which when multiplied to itself is either equal to 5 or less than 5 so 2 to the 4 and we know that 3 3 is a 9 so we will go by 2 so 2 to the is 4 1 is left this 2 will be added to this 2 it will be 4 and here i will need a number as well as at this place and but first first we'll copy down 56 so it becomes 156 we'll copy down the next pair that is 56 so 156 is a new number now 4 into some 4 and some other number into the same number should be either equal to 156 or less than 156 so let's check with 3 3 3 is a 
फोर थ्री जै ट्वेल्व वन ट्वेंटी नाइन लेट्स चेक फोर्टी फोर फोर बाई फोर ऑल्सो मीन्स इन दिस प्लेस एंड दिस प्लेस वी आर पुटिंग फोर 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 दिक्सटीन वन कैरी सिक्सटीन वन सेवेंटी सिक्स सो वन सेवेंटी सिक्स इज ग्रेटर देन वन फिफ्टी सिक्स बट वन ट्वेंटी नाइन इज लेस देन वन थर्टी नाइन एंड आई नीड अ नंबर विच विन मल्टीप्लाई टू दिस नंबर गिव्स इधर वन फिफ्टी सिक्स और लेस देन वन फिफ्टी सिक्स सो वील बी यूजिंग थ्री ओवर हेयर थ्री एंड हेयर ऑल्सो वील बी यूजिंग थ्री 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 ज नाइन फोर थ्री ज ट्वेल्व सो सिक्स माइनस नाइन इज सेवन एंड दिस इज फोर फोर माइनस टू इज टू now we uh, this carry down the whole pair to 7 it becomes we are carrying down this 96 so it becomes 2 9 uh, 2 7 9 6 again we'll add this 3 to this number so it will be 46 into something else into something else to get 2 7 9 6 now the unit digit is 6 so we should either try by 4 Or by six because four into four is sixteen. The unit digit is six, or six into six is thirty-six. Again, the unit digit is six. So if we try four six four by four, or we can try four six six by six. Means at the end we are going to we need to get six. So we know four into four is sixteen. Means the Unit digit six or six into six is thirty six. Unit digit is six. We have only two options. Let's check four four sixteen six one carry six four twenty four twenty five two sixteen seventeen eighteen one eight five six. We are getting here it is two seven nine six. Let's check with six six is thirty six three carry thirty six and three thirty nine three carry twenty four and three twenty seven two seven two seven nine six. So it means this is the right option. So we will multiply or we will put the value here as six. And here also is six, and it will be two seven nine six. Nothing is left as remainder, so we can say under root of five five six nine six is equal to two hundred and thirty six. That is the final value. So whatever has been discussed today about long division method is clear to you. so you will write all these questions uh, 2 4 6 8 and 10 in your fair notebook and the leftover questions 1 3 5 7 and 9 in your practice notebook still if you have any doubt you can uh, send me your queries on this and uh, for the time being stay at home stay blessed and please like subscribe and share plus also i want you all to comment what you feel or something if uh, is if something is missing you can uh, comment on that so thank you have a nice day